is a space station in outer space, where 100 players will be trapped in trying to survive. These depths of space contain alien creatures, diseases, and lastly, dangerous lab experiments. Players are also set to hardcore mode, so they only have one life. For every subscriber I get on this video, I will be placing one TNT on my friend's hardcore world, so don't miss your chance. This is the outer space simulation. Our story begins with players waking up to realize that they're astronauts on a space station, so they begin to explore their surroundings. Notable places here would be the dorms, the cafeteria, the green room, and lastly, the maintenance room. Phase 1, The Awakening. This is where astronauts are to explore, gather resources found in loot crates, and start earning themselves some microchips. Microchips are what's used to buy items and weapons within the space station. You can get them from finding them in crates, killing small aliens, or sabotaging your friends by getting them murdered. All are viable options, of course. Some teams to look out for is Team Ballers, owned by Eopoke. You'll know it's them from their matching astronaut skins. The other notable team is Team Legion, owned by Mello. They're the ones with the Spartan armor. The rest seem to be on their own, or their little mini groups. The story begins within the dorms. It's where they go to sleep when they remember what time of day it is. I do have to warn them though, there's been a few aliens crawling around the vents in these dorms, so they best be careful what doors they open. Connected to the space station dorms is the cafeteria, where there's an NPC that sells you food in exchange for microchips. The thing they didn't expect to see there is a small alien nest filled with these little guys. These small aliens also drop microprocessors. As you can see, some wanted to reap these benefits before even even having a single weapon. Of course, <laughs> Someone of fell down. Oh, oh, he's dead! <laughs> first to die. I like how his first James idea was to just jump walk. in. Cake was the first astronaut to fall victim to these aliens. We also uncover the small aliens are known as face huggers. What a creepy name. I decided to check up on one of the astronauts. How are you feeling right now in this uh, alien infested space station? Hmm, I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel very safe right now. If you ever feel like my friend Oweka here, unsafe and worried about who's stealing your data while you're online then fear not because today's sponsor is expressvpn if you're like me on the internet all the time you should really be using a vpn and expressvpn is one of the best out there they provide complete privacy for you online that protects you from spies who use your data for malicious intent especially since hackers only need basic computer knowledge to steal your passwords and personal information not only do they protect you they've also got the fastest speeds 24 7 customer support and it's the number one rated VPN provider by CNET, The Verge, and even Tech Radar. You know your boy's hooking you up. Your first three months of ExpressVPN are completely free if you use the link below. Now back to the space station. Since the spaceship wasn't that big, housing all of these 100 astronauts would not be one of the easier tasks. But they pushed forward trying to explore the other facilities open to them. One hour remains till section two of the space station opens up, which is the direction they need to go to to get to the escape pods, so they better get prepared for that. Moving on from the dorms, at a different section, some astronauts ended up finding some proper spacesuits. These spacesuits would give them some armor and extended oxygen counts. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention? It actually works like outer space. If they break out of the space station without any oxygen tanks, they will start suffocating. They thought just because they had more oxygen that they could up and leave. Why would I make the escape that easy? What even? The further inwards that the astronauts go, the more they start hearing noises coming from the vents. You guys hear that sound? Like something's moving around in the vents. So weird. Creepy. And they should be rightfully worried because it's not just these face huggers that are moving around in there, but more on that later. And so the paranoia begins. The rooms that we've been at so far are all on the upper floors of the space station. But for those that are wanting to make some progress, it will leave the astronauts to the lower sections. The lower section is a bit hidden. It's a hidden trap door that a lot of astronauts just walk by without realizing. But a few moments in, one of the astronauts named Sushi ended up uncovering it. Oh, Sushi. oh, oh. Oh. Okay. All right, first genius arrived. The lower sections actually lead you to two places. One being the astronaut dealer. He kind of gives you under the table trades. The things to focus on here is the wrench. Because 50 minutes from now, the door to section two will be open. But the astronauts will still need a wrench to pry it open. And it's pretty expensive. Not one person can collect everything for it. Either they'll need to steal from other players the microchips required by getting them murdered, or they'd have to be a part of the team and all work together. 
together. The second place the lower area leads to is known as the maintenance room, which is also where the section 2 door is. Another astronaut named Mar ended up discovering the maintenance room. We followed him for a bit to see what he was up to. After a bit of time, he soon meets one of the facehuggers gatekeeping an important area that they need to get to. Another thing that they can find down here is Buzz. Yeah, the Toy Story guy. Buzz actually offers a weapon in exchange for a pretty cheap price. This allows astronauts to obtain their first weapon to kill off these facehuggers with and farm them for potential microchips. Though it won't be that easy, but the facehugger guardian gives you nausea for 30 seconds, ruining your perception for a little while, so it's no easy feat. Unfortunately, Mar had the liberty to face against this facehugger head on. Despite everything, Mar decided to book it towards the room that was well guarded at full speed, but he missed. How do you miss that? Soon, more astronauts realized that the top section of the space station was the living quarters and that the lower sections was where the progress was truly made. Bro, we're dying. If I'm going down, you're going down with me. That's a crazy line, bro. I would definitely stay away from him. Right. You do your best at Public hazard. He's a problem. Go, 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 go. Maybe some people were just better off left at Earth, because why do we put this in the hands of them? I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Oh, jeez. I guess this facehugger thing really is a problem for them. And if you really want to see how devastating these facehuggers are, let me show you. Oh, my okay. God. The amount of people that died. I that is insane. Damn. But, hey, the upper section is isn't too safe either. There were people that opened up the dorms which had facehuggers climbing into them via the vents. You poor souls. Also, what kind of skin is this, bro? I probably could have lived without ever seeing that skin in my life. Sorry, you guys had to see that. Some of the astronauts were playing it a bit safer after realizing how scary the space station went from a nice living space to an alien's paradise. A facehugger was actually camping the outside of their dorm. Mr. Grippy decided to take a nap. Sleep away your problems, I guess. The door, do not open. Open the door. Oh, the people that only stand Why did you open it? <laughs> only died. Don't open the door. Even for new astronauts that join in late, they are gatekeeping the specific dorm that they're in because it's safe. A room on the upper section that's yet to be mentioned is called the green room. The astronauts up there need a place to feel at home. An interesting thing about this place is that there's a second door, similar to the one back in section two, but where does this door exactly lead to? Underneath, some of the rooms are also secret vents to help astronauts get from one place to another without getting attacked by these blood-hungry facehuggers. The center of all these facilities is the hub. This is where a lot of astronauts went to in order to plot against enemy teams or figure out a way to get a hold of that wrench. It is the main priority at the moment. The food source that was given to the astronauts were also arteries. It's honestly a staple food here. He's a munch! I decided that I wanted to go check to see if anyone has reached Buzz yet. And here we see the unfortunate reality of one of the astronauts. This is how I can tell. Yeah. The root speaks for itself, bro. I don't know how he... What do you think was gonna happen, bro? And the fact is, nobody pushed him in. He just jumped in. Right. Away. Now, someone managed to sneak into Section 2 early. This genuinely confused me since there was no other way into Section 2. Did they go through the vents? I was so confused. How did they even get access to this place? More on that later, though. Here's another astronaut that had fallen victim to more of the facehuggers. For some reason, instead of going all together, they're going one at a time? Honestly, it's starting to look like a circus out here finally astronauts end up discovering buzz they begin oh, mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> dude <laughs> Uh, okay then. I, I hope everything's alright. 40 minutes remain till section 2 is open. Astronauts realize that this was the exit, but they don't have a wrench. Lucky for us, our boy Sushi ended up finding the space boy. Okay, I'm in a room down here. There is Buzz Lightyear is down in the maintenance tunnel. He's playing in a room with weird things. Okay, okay there is a facehugger right, down like... here. Uh, do not play with it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so he's clearly the group leader, bro. Oh my gosh, get it off my face, dude. I'm gonna die already. Get out of the way! Oh my god, I need have like half a heart this is horrifying and if things couldn't get any more random i was surprised to find someone outside of the space station how did you even get here he better get back inside because if he doesn't that oxygen tank of his is gonna deplete because listen i ain't saving nobody this time around back to the central hub we have more people gathering to what i now believe is a cult who are you trying to sacrifice C can i can i take part people of all teams gather in the maintenance area to stack up on microprocessors as you can see from the arteries on the floor not many of them may it out alive. The mother face hugger is also there lurking, giving astronauts permanent blindness. You don't want to get hit with this thing. Give it oh, to me. No. Jump in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I will drop it into there and you will have to jump and get it, okay? Okay, okay. Hmm? 
Bro, what? Jump! Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> he got killed instantly. I, but no worries, I got he, another he, weapon. Why does he have another one? This guy, Frippy, is a menace, okay? He started Spartan Games on the space station, and people actually participated. Their confidence in surviving is dramatically decreasing because they're just jumping into their doom. Section 2's door continues to get more and more people interested, but they're just kind of waiting for someone to get the wrench for them. You leeches, get it yourself. Some of the facehuggers surpassed even death. Dead. While it's dead, it also it crawls. Go doors. It doesn't go through yeah, doors. It doesn't go through doors. Still people. Guys. They began to hunt while they were already down. This was a huge problem for the astronauts. The more they explored around, the more the astronauts realized how cramped this place really is. If the face huggers were to swarm the vents, they would all be screwed. A room I forgot to mention is the computer room near the top floor. This was home to more face huggers, but the safest place to farm these guys would have to be the cafeteria. Once the word about the computer room went around, though, astronauts soon charged the place like they were here for the new iphone release why is there 50 people oh, yeah guys there's no face huggers you should, you should you should look in there look in there i'm, I'm good Dude, this... I'm go in oh. there just kill you you got him you can kill him i can't kill these i can't even reach <laughs> I, I believe i can reach you. me before i can reach no them. get off get off everybody out of the way so people can leave taking a look at the cafeteria which is the safest place to kill these face huggers from let's just say they made some very questionable decisions here sharp shot risked his whole life for some reason no. <laughs> Shot. Shot. Oh, he's dead. He's so oh my god. Good move. I live. But he escaped unscathed. I can't even make this up, yo. Oh. Some people were just asking to die here. You don't have oh. any weapons. Yes. Oh my god. god. Oh. 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 god. Tank. Oh. It's a tank. <laughs> Out. Yeah, they're dead. They're all dead. No, no, no. It's crazy he's about to solo all of them. Where are you guys die? Wait, the weapon? Oh my <laughs> gosh. One of the facehugger victims ended up dropping a weapon in there. There's a weapon in here. No, he didn't lie. He didn't lie. Who did that, bro? Mar, what is that? Okay, just hop in and hop back. Oh, that's good, bro. Oh. Easier said than done, buddy. If you thought the rooms were chaotic, check out the vents that the team ballers ended up going into. What are they doing? Dude, this thing's got nothing in here. There's so many people here. <laughs> the actual sheep, bro. Bro, where are the geniuses? Because these guys are all pretty dumb. Ooh, oh, down here, boys. Ooh. This is a dangerous place, though. There's face hunkers in here. It's a vent. Oh, oh we're about no. to watch them all die, I guess. This is a long line of people. Well, they have armor on, though. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Some moron decided to lead one of the face huggers into the vents. It's literally just not safe anywhere now. You're probably safer hiding in some random closet. Team Ballers is the most stacked team with proper armor and some proper weapons, and that will be coming into use for later on with some of these later aliens. But honestly, only time can really tell. The masses continue to get clapped by these face huggers. You know oh, you oh, 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 for a while, the astronauts were farming up microprocessors to obtain the wrench. Ah, All of that <laughs> armor, bro. <laughs> Okay, oh, no, no, Blood, sweat, and blocky tears gone into this. 20 minutes left until section 2 opens up. As time passes in the space station, food supplies are getting really low. So it's perfect time for a disease breakout. Hunger effect spreads wide throughout the space station. They went to the extremes of eating raw, rotten flesh. Gross. I start realizing that they are really struggling, so I give them a Glock with bullets, but they do have to earn it, so I dropped it in the pit of death. Spork ended up collecting the Glock. Now they have a way to kill them from a distance. This is when I talked to one of the astronauts, Sushi. I decided to give him some supplies to give on to some of the astronauts that really need it. I, I, I'll lead the push. He gave the astronauts MREs and tried managing the crowd. Okay, okay one at a time, everyone back oh my up, you're God. not getting crap. <laughs> I'm right here. Oh, okay. God. Back up, back up. But the crowd was getting restless. Bro, they don't learn. It's so Stop funny. trying to steal this stuff. Dude, yeah. what's your guys' problem? Here, take all this stuff, guys. Spread the spread some love around. Let's actually get something going on in this event. Most of the astronauts just kind of hugged the section two door. So I gave them a face hugger. Why does it do? <laughs> there's a thing in there. Oh, 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 Okay, okay, okay. Um, stop, bro. <laughs> <laughs> did they kill it? They did. Go, 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 wait, 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 does that a whole different symbol? You said James. Oh, it does. Yes, yes, yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> Mario's got that plot oh. armor. I'll offer rotten flesh to the gods. No? I don't think the gods want rotten flesh. Maybe make a better offer. Of course they do. No, they do make a better offer. Talk to them, bro. I think it's how you get smited by the gods. I don't want to be. I don't want to be. 
don't want to die. I don't want to die. They're so like glued to this door. I'm just trying to get them to move and I'll find them. Help us, God. <laughs> Even Mario's asking. I will sacrifice someone. Help us, God. Oops. It turns out that Sushi was the first to get the maintenance jack. And this was probably due to the fact he had a gun. Endo also got a hold of an incinerator with all the stuff he saved up for. I guess he's just been saving up for it. And not before long began phase two the corridors. And the doors are opened up by Sushi's wrench. This is known as the corridors. This section contains the med bay, the back rooms, the savannah, the hallway, and lastly, the hidden area. The astronauts that were waiting by the section 2 door decided to flood into the place. One of the astronauts named Rex soon discovered that this area was too infested with face uggers. No, 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 no. Yeah. Why is this door, not dying? Please. Freaking A. Stop running. Let us kill it. It's dead. I killed it. Maybe even more than the last place. This is the back room, but it has a hidden room behind it, which holds a trader that they need to trade with to even access section 3. One hour remains till section 3 is open. Is he stuck in here? <laughs> Yo, help us. Somebody, we need help. We're trapped. <laughs> How did they even get in here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The door to the back room can only be opened from the outside, by the way, not the inside. Poor guys are trapped in here for all of eternity. I mean, un until someone kind of just walks by. This is the hallway. It leads into section 3, the infestation. The inner parts of the space station that are no pleasant place. It houses full-fledged alien creatures from medium and even large ones. But luckily for them, this guy exists. The guy hidden in the back area within the back room room, which sells cheaper costing items, armor, and even AK-47s. What more could you really want besides guns to fight off the aliens with? But I'm telling you now, they're gonna need these things for the upcoming sections. It's only a matter of time until the astronauts discover this hidden person. Mar from before broke into a closed off room with one of these wrenched up doors, but it was just a closet filled with really OP armor and weapons. Yeah, it's just the usual. Most of the astronauts were stacking up on microprocessors and getting a hold of those AK-47s. Mar even managed to save up enough for a full set of anti-alien armor, which is really expensive by the way. He began fighting any alien he came across. That's probably how he saved up so much. Look at him, bro. He looks crazy. As he completely- Oh, 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 oh. Dude, he might die. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting jumped. Why is he using that one? Oh, 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 oh. Ends up using incinerary grenades. <laughs> he knows he's dead. He knows he's dead. He knows he's dead. Please don't die. He threw nades. Mario, are you serious right now, dude? Mario, you can't kill them if they're down, bro. Right. What we got? So much for chosen one. <laughs> you chose the most clapped person. <laughs> Mario sucks. He is, he's Run, not the chosen leader. He's the underdog. <laughs> go in the door, Mario. What is wrong with that? He's <laughs> dead. Please go through, Mario. Please just go walk in the. Oh my god. Ah! He did! Oh my oh. gosh. 40 minutes till section 3 is then open. For some reason, he went back to this pit too. Since the armor protects him big time, he went there for the simple purpose of collecting and stacking up on microprocessors for more incinerary grenades. I really don't like where this is going. Honestly, I can't even tell you. An anomaly. The Savannah Room. Not so much information about this place, besides it used to be the recreation room, until the facehuggers decided to start laying eggs in there. Gross. Mar had all this power, and with his armor and weapons, that he started to get a little bit over his head. He began to look for victims he can murder with these incinerary grenades. He went on to finding his first victim, which would be Xanderman. Definitely Xanderman. He's a good subject. Xander. Yeah. Do you want some do you want some gear? What? Do you want some more? Uh I guess. <laughs> yeah, you gotta follow me. Follow me over. No. Mario, get him! But his victim escaped. Mar goes further into being power hungry. He tells another astronaut named Cam that he has loot for him. He's gonna go tell the others a dude with a scary mask is trying to kill me. There's only a few people with a scary yeah, mask. You want some gear, Cam? Okay. Yeah, follow me, follow me. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So get on that top bunk, but don't click on the bed, you'll die. There's a ladder right here. Make sure you catch him live, bro. Actually. 
Oh my god. Like, what? And he got away with it? The astronauts forgave him somehow. I'm starting to think there's something wrong with these guys. 20 minutes till section three is open. Mara ended up going back to the hallway, but they were going through a bit of a riot. There were some that thought they could handle the aliens to come. So they basically just stood in front of section three door, punching each other. What even? After not too long later, section three, the infestation begun. Section three's gate was now open. The hasty players were let into the outer edges of the space station. Notable locations here would be the control room, the elevator, the subsection, the server room, and the laboratory. But don't worry, we'll get to all of them. They walk down a pathway that leads them to the subsection, but they still soon realize that this part is actually infested with medium and large sized aliens. Mar was also still blood hungry, so he went down this path and threw some more grenades trying to kill off not only aliens, but players. And for some reason, it ended up working. Poor Aiden fell into space below. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh -oh. It's too oh, god. He's so dead. He's so dead. Oh my god. What is he doing? <laughs> Ah! Are you serious, bro? I don't oh, get how he did that. Oh, almost, almost. If they don't patch that up, the oxygen levels in the station will start to extremely deplete. Mar threw another bomb. I can't see. Oh, why? <laughs> what have you done now? It wasn't me. What have you done? <laughs> what have you done now? Like, real oh, oh, oh. oh. Who was it? Oh, they're not dying, though. And more victims to outer space. They soon enter the control room with a medium-sized alien bloodthirsty. Luckily for them, there's a lot of astronauts that are still alive to this point, and it seems to be taking some of the hits, but it also seems to be guarding something. I'm inside you. What? Are we all done? The medications. We I'm sending in that stuff. Guys. Yeah, we killed all the yeah. aliens. Funny enough, they thought that the event was over since they got to the front of the space station. We need to get to the escape pods. <laughs> oh, oh, Let's go. Another thing to note here is that these medium-sized aliens drop three to four times as many microprocessors as the small aliens do. So these guys are pretty good to farm. 40 minutes until section four is then open. The other area of this subsection leads you into the elevator. Going down there, there's more aliens that Mar tries his best to kill off. They looted up the crates, and they began to explore the inner facilities. There's different types of creatures that they find back here, and some are used as meat shields. The golds found here are no longer really for trading, unless you want to get the best gear or the best weapons or gun. The goal now is to find these escape pods. They found a button that seemed to be connected to a generator. Wonder what that actually did. They soon approached the end of section 3, leading into section 4, the mother's terror Territory, but it's only just the door so far. The reason why it's actually called that is because the mother alien dwells in there. But it's also the one thing that's stopping them from accessing these escape pods back to planet Earth. These poor things. They notice a huge server room and an alien in the way of the entrance to section 4. They can't access this without a wrench either. But Mar used it. Not many had even realized. Mar peeks his head out showing that it's accessible. All the astronauts push through to find a big alien that does a lot of damage. It's open now. All right, cool. Oh, there's the alien. I'm gonna blast it. Oh, he's doing it. Queen alien boss, let's go. Open no, this bro, door now. Way. Somebody use your, your fist and yeah. break it down. Bully him in the corner. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at, look at People start getting packed left and right, but they charge at him to loot the microprocessors that it drops. The astronauts that we knew in the start are now bloodthirsty killers against these aliens. It really does come down to who is stronger. Mar thought of an idea to block the exit slash entrance they came in from so that they're the only ones that's able to escape and go to section four. Smart sabotaging, but it might bite them in the back later on, especially if they still need to kill something on the other end of the map. Spoiler alert, they do. So he begins bombing the way in and their way out. How will this even play out? The plan didn't work too well because Mark couldn't actually afford any more bombs. Unfortunate. They also realized that section floor was still inaccessible, so they began exploring the parts that they have yet to discover. There's another type of alien that's a little slower and a little tinier, but knows how to bite a head off. On the other end of the subsection, that the astronauts discovered, they ended up meeting our main group. The laboratory was yet to be discovered, but it was also the most dangerous place to access. And here was a lab scientist offering items crucial to making progress. There's also a mini boss in the lab that took it over that they need to kill to even move forward. It's clogging the indoor door systems. 20 minutes till section four is open. This guy decided to go skydiving into space. Off you go. They're about to get jumped. Oh. 
Huh, <laughs> they're dead. Oh, he sabotaged them. Why, you he kept them back. Hey, you. Oh, that's what happened. Wow. Corpse card. <laughs> Damn, bro. Corpse, you murderer. They begin to vent around the place in search for the laboratory that they had missed. Sushi leads the charge. A lot of the Ballers members also decided to follow him since their leader had died. They begin to head towards the lab. They discover the two alien bandits that stowed away on the space station and shot them down. Oh my. That's not a mini boss. That's a. That's a Yo, you guys oh backed them down. Right? Around, boys, spread out. Open the door. They're about to see it. What are we? Mm -hmm. What are we fighting over? What's happening? Here? Oh! <laughs> what the heck is that thing? It's an octopus. Kill it. Dude. I ain't never seen an ugly octopus like that before. <laughs> Take out the. Face Look at this walk, though. Oh, yeah, I'm, killing the I'm opening fire on the tentacle thing. Shots are taken. <laughs> Slime poisons you. Such a nice little time. Section 4, the mother's den, is now open. This is where it gets kind of interesting. Instead of being the clear-cut pathway to the next area that they usually get, they ended up getting a ripped apart area by the mother alien, which causes them to be out in the omen with limited oxygen, around 120 seconds worth. The time is ticking till they suffocate in space. Notable places here would be the bridge, the mother's den, and lastly, the escape pod sector. That's where they have to go at the end of the event. They go down into a hatch. This place is also on fire and not to mention infested with alien goop whoa someone's dead yeah, this doesn't look very safe mar takes the charge That's trying to take the hits in uh i wouldn't go in there oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe when you guys die i'll take all your stuff <laughs> why why <laughs> But his armor slowly lowers in durability, which is a problem. It's all up to you, Mario. All your teammates are relying on you. Run, 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 dude, dude, run. Tell them that you're the chosen. Bing. Don't step on the slime. Who knew stepping on acid was bad? I decided to drop a lucky astronaut a valuable item. One of the alien spawns. I'm gonna just leave it in here so see who picks it up. And this is Rick, picking it up confused. <laughs> of course it's been Rick, bro. I have, I have the monster. He has so much power on his hands and he doesn't even know it. They find some of the more inner vents and start heading into them. I just want to be married. I'll marry you. Not the romance. Uh, an outer space wedding? I don't know how I feel about this. You know, me and weddings, we don't really have a good history. This is where things get a bit difficult and big time. The mother alien's nest is filled with the alien's gross goop. A ton of babies and 
and aliens that were birthed. This place is a make or break for astronauts. They can't get past here without killing the mother. Luckily on their part, they had a ton of guns and a ton of bullets to shoot from the side. This part was inevitable. It's the wall. We need a wrench. We gotta kill the boss or we can't leave. Yeah, yeah, that's all I want for Christmas is 35 AK-47s with ammo. Christmas present. We hit. Really you got every some of it down. player who is here to have a gun and blast. That's how we take this thing out. Stop standing around. Go. Go, go to you. I can't even go through. Whoever's a liar, I hate you. Not to mention, this guy named Mr. Spork started soloing the boss with his bare hands. What a madman. The eggs of the aliens are pulsating. Some end up deciding to hatch, such as these aliens and even shark aliens. Yeah, ones that belong underwater, but they're here over land. The aliens end up berating the astronauts, but will any of the astronauts actually be able to survive all of this? Some aliens end up sneaking behind them as well. There's literally nowhere that it's safe. It's closing into death soon. Around one third of its health is already gone down the drain. Blasting off the aliens, they began berating the alien mother. It's oh over. Oh my god. <laughs> Wave two. Vaporized by acid. It's crazy. Man, this guy has got some insane health bar. Oh, it's already too late for him. Oh, never mind. One death. The acid really does so much damage. Try not to step in the acid. Oh my gosh, it's a war field. He got into a closet. The queen's almost dead, at least. I think we can rest the queen now. Oh, what just happened? The server crashed? Yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oops. Well, basically, it got so chaotic that the server crashed. But I fixed it. Don't worry. I left open the pathway. And oh, man. Even though it was open, it was no easy feat for them either. Mar actually died fighting against the aliens trying to get to that side. Aliens have taken over this place, too. But you only have 120 seconds to breathe before you start suffocating and die from the lack of oxygen. But his hopes that Rick will win is where he's putting his money. This is the bridge. I genuinely feel bad for these guys because I don't do too well with hyper ventilating either there's a jump that had to be made over here and they diligently go throughout the bridge rick is also being cautious you guys remember sushi this is actually where he dies he thinks he can make a jump pretty easily but ends up failing it and there goes his arc they need to look fix the me. jump look at me if they don't fix the jump we can't get through you know what i call it, this it, bluff it's, a, it's not real it, it, no it's a possible jump it's actually yeah. possible but i don't want i really don't want to do it it's so easy i made it no <laughs> Oh, I said I'd have it, and I didn't have it. I never had it. Rest in peace, Sushi. What the hell is going on here? What is that? Where are they? Um, yeah, so this is happening. Luke got snuck on by an alien from behind. Others managed to get to the other side of the bridge despite the alien attacks. They go through into the last space station before they reach the escape pods. The thing about this place is that this is the most dangerous place there is here. There were only around five people that can fit into the escape pod, which meant we had to reduce in numbers quickly. So then began the parades of aliens coming at them from all sides. At the very end, only these few ended up surviving and made it. So after after the last person died, we let the final survivors escape. The first person to go in is Firebone Crusher. He's the first person to get into the escape pod. Congratulations. They flew the escape pod back to planet Earth. Alien free. Or so they thought. Subscribe or aliens will eat you.